Hi there, we're going to do a little demonstration and tutorial on building an animation by using a Illustrator vector file that's been drawn where there's a character has been drawn in different poses and we're going to put the poses back together and form an animation within Photoshop. And this is what we're going to try to do here with this little cute fox running right here. You can see at the outset that he's running relatively fast. Let's go find him or something like him and let's animate him. I'm going to close him out for right now. And I'm going to come back over to the web. And I'm going to come over here to Free Pick, where I am a subscriber. And they have fantastic artwork for an unbelievable, reasonable annual price. So I'm going to type in what's called Animation Sprites. And I'm going to put in the word Animals just for fun. And what this is, you can see here, I have a, an different files let's say we look at this one right here here's a little character you can see how the poses change and it's almost like an individual cells of animation that have been put together here so what we're going to do is we're going to take these individual poses and put them together as an animation within photoshop but these are vector based so what i'm going to do first is I'm going to find the sprite that I want to use or want to animate and there's hundreds of them up here so let me go up to my downloads here and I'm going to go to downloads and here's one I found earlier this little fox okay so I'm going to go over here and download this and it's been downloaded to my hard drive so let's close out of Firefox let's go over here to Illustrator and let's go open I'm going to go to my downloads folder and I'm going to pick run blinking eyes animation cartoon fox character and I'm going to open up the EPS file and we're going to take a look at this over here on the right are all the layers in this document uh, whoever did this was very much of a genius and a kind person to us because he used these characters down here for a run animation and he already has them separated out on separate layers over here called run so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on the first eyeball in my layers panel I'm going to drag through it and I'm going to hide all the layers except for the run layers the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom up on this just to show you a little bit better and I noticed when I was working on this that it had a border around each frame and I don't want that so I'm going to take my black selection arrow I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna press just above the frame and I'm gonna draw across and just select the blue border and I'm gonna hit delete now I shouldn't have that blue square around any of my little foxes now notice also where if I bring a guide down all of them are basically drawn at the same height what I mean is they're all hitting this top guideline so keep that in mind because we need to align these on top of each other so that we can animate them so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go under file I'm going to go over here to export I'm going to go export as here's the key thing down at the bottom you're going to pick Photoshop PSD I'm going to name this Fox animation and I'll leave it in that same folder I'm gonna pick my res I'll leave it 150 ppi so it wrote me out a Photoshop file I'm gonna go over here to Photoshop and what I'm gonna do here is I'm not sure why that came up but it looks pretty delicious I'm gonna do an open I'm gonna go to my downloads I'm going to find my run blinking and here's my Fox animation file. I'm going to open that up. So we're going to see here that if I bring up my layers panel, window, layers, that I have in my layers panel here the same layers I had within my Illustrator document. 
So what we're going to do here is I'm going to collapse all these layers just for convenience. And I'm going to eventually select all these layers and align them. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to pick the top layer, the bottom layer, and I'm going to go up to my control panel on top and I'm going to say align them on centers and align them all on tops, not middles. Because remember when we looked at the individual objects back in free picks, we noticed while he's jumping, his ears or the top of his head are maintained at the same height. So we don't want to center this because as it animates, it would jump downward and then back up as it plays. So make sure in this case, I'm going to do align tops. So now they're all aligned. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crop tool and I really don't need all this extra space because he's actually going to run right in place. I'm going to move this over here like this and hit enter. I'm going to zoom up on this and I'm going to come back here a little bit because I'm a little claustrophobic. So you can see all the individual poses of the fox are all lined up on top of each other. Now here's what we're going to do next. I'm going to build down here in the timeline and if the timeline isn't showing you know you can go to window and pick timeline. I'm going to create a frame animation and what I'm going to do here, the secret on this if you've never done it, the extreme basics of this is this, whatever eye or whatever layer is shown, that's what it will put in this frame. Before I do that, how many layers do we have? We have nine. So down here at the bottom in the timeline, there's a little plus symbol here that says duplicate selected frame. So I'm going to duplicate this frame till I have at least nine. I'm going to go back to the first frame, I'll call it. I'm going to turn off all the eyeballs on that. I'm going to go to the second one and I'm going to turn off the first one. I'm going to turn on the second one. You're going to kind of get the idea of what's going on here. Let me do this. I'm going to go to the third. I'm going to turn on third and off one. The fourth one. And I'm going to make it fourth and turn this one off. I'm going to make fifth and turn fifth on and this. Aren't you glad there's not a hundred of these for me to do? Whoop. Six and seven and eight. So let me move this back over here. Now, down here in the extreme lower right corner, there's a little drop down menu that says how often or how many times do you want to play this animation? Well, I want to play it forever so it loops. I'm going to click back on frame one just for fun. I'm going to see there's a number below here. This is how much delay the frame stays on the screen. I have zero, which means it's just going to be basically instantaneously when it plays, moving from one frame to another. They give us the illusion of the animation. I'm going to click play. There it is. So if you want a little animated character or an animated GIF, this is an easy way to find some artwork bring it together within Photoshop, and then just animate it by using a frame-by-frame -frame animation. Here. Now, how do you export this? Well, I'm going to go up here to File. I'm going to go up here to Export. I'm going to pick Save for Legacy. Notice this has a checkerboard pattern behind it because it's transparent. So I'm going to output this in the upper right as a GIF. It's going to respect the transparency. This is the size. I'm going to have it loop forever. I'm going to click play just to check it. And let's go ahead and save it. 
So let's name this Fox Animation. And I'll put a one in front of it so I can locate it. I'll click Save. And that's done. Now, should we go for broke here? Let's open up a browser. And I'm opening up Google Chrome. I'm going to go File. And I'm going to go, let's say, Open File. I'm going to go to my local folder. I'm going to go to One Fox Animation GIF. And there it is. Now, I'm going to quit out of Chrome. And I'm going to pause things here just for a second. Okay, I put a little fast one on here. I went into InDesign to show you that I can actually bring this into InDesign and use it in an EPUB to publish online. So I'm in InDesign here. I'm going to go under File. I'm going to come down to Place. And I'm just going to come over to my local folder. Here's my number one Fox Animation GIF or GIF. I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to click it out. I'm going to right click and I'm going to come over here to display performance. I'm going to pick high quality and that will smooth it out a little bit here. And so I want to see if this will play within this document. So over here I'm going to go to window, interactive, and I'm going to make sure I have my EPUB interactive preview on. I'm also going to bring up my animation panel. I really don't need it because I'm not really going to animate but I am going to come in the lower, lower left corner of this animation panel and pick preview. So there you go. So you can actually put these animated GIFs into a EPUB document like InDesign and then publish it out. Also, as long as you have a hold of it here, let me zoom out a little bit here and I'll repeat something I've done before. Don't want to bore you, but I can take this and I can say I want to add an animation preset and I want this fox to fly in from the left. So I'm going to move him over here and I'm going to zoom out a little bit on my screen here. There's a little motion path here. And I'm going to click on that. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to get my direct select tool. And I'm going to click on this anchor point here. And I'm going to move it all the way over to this side. So this is basically creating a motion path. So let's see how this would work. Will he start off on the left and run across? Let me come over to my animation panel. Let me click on preview. Whoa! And there he went. So let's slow that down a little bit with, uh, let's say, let's have him take it five seconds across here. And loop it, and let's play it. Now that fades in, so I don't want that. So let's go to Properties. Let me turn off Fade, and let me preview it again. There he goes. 